how this data can be used for large language models, uh, especially generative AI, because it becomes more and more important. Okay. So, okay. AI, most of the AI products were nothing without data. All their business model or, or not the technology is based on data. First of all, they need to train their model on data in scale all the time. You need, you know, a model of AI needs to be trained. Otherwise, it's not, it's, it doesn't have the intelligence. And then it needs to stay up to date all the time. So basically AI products, besides of the algorithm that knows how to analyze data, it needs to collect data on a permanent basis and it to be up to date again in order to train his model and in order to stay up to date for his clients. This is exactly the place. This is why we see a growth, a, a, even a, a, even exponential growth in the demand for our products from this data insights that are basically AI companies that using us as their data enabler. They are not expert in data collection. In order to collect data in scale, you need to build a network. We have a network that we built over the years of thousands of servers around the world with full global coverage, with millions of exit points. And in order to collect data and not to be blocked or to be misleaded, they are using us as the data enabler. By the way, you know, there are starting to, to be some articles about this. And if we want to project the future, we think that it's going to be a, a, a kind of, a, I'm not say a fight, but maybe a fight even between the AI products and the websites, because Basically, when you are asking your AI product that you are using a, a question, an information query, informa informative, informative, informative question, what was in the US in 1960? How do I do, a, 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 do, I do KPIs for my business for retention? In any other space, you are getting the answer. Ex you, you, you know, you are getting the answer on this AI product. Before this AI product, you will need to go to the search engine and to read the website and you are hitting the website here's traffic all the business model of websites are based on traffic because they have advertisers they are more they, they, they need to monetize their, their website in order to, to to make money so now these ai products are basically skipping the websites so website websites will try to prevent ai products to come in to collect data they cannot do it from legal perspective because it's legal. It's publicly available data. Anyone can come in. It makes the world a better place. The internet is making the world a better place because someone from China and someone from the US and someone from Israel can go in, can educate himself, can stay up to date in front of his laptop or his computer and you you cannot block him you can try but you cannot block him from legal perspective so it's going to be a technology fight between the ai products and the websites and here by the way it's increased the value of us for this ai products as data enablers they will not they cannot do it because they are, it's not their expertise it's our expertise we are one of the leaders in this space and we see the demand. Besides of this, we as a company, as I mentioned initially, we started in the IP proxy network. As I mentioned, it's the way to come into the website. Next stage in the data stake, in the, in, in, in the data industry stake, is the scrapers, collectors, meaning you're coming in, and now you need to start and collect the data by, by, by a product. So, we are now getting into this stage. We've developed some of great products here and our biggest next product will be AI scraper. I can elaborate if you want. And then our next stage, basically it's planned to 2025 is to close the circle and to provide also data insights by using technology. And of course, AI technology for this, we established a special committee with industry experts to explore what is uh, 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 the focus that we want to be in this data insights vertical. So we will be in the data insights as a provider of data, but as a data enabler 
for other AI tools that that basically needs us. Yeah. So so can you elaborate? You, you launched in in February this year, two thousand twenty four. The AI data collector, which is precisely the scrapper. Uh, so, can you? Uh, I know there is an important milestone on the yeah, yeah. Nuts roadmap. So, explain how it works. And you touched a bit on this, but to go a bit deeper. And I think this is quite important, and I have some questions related with this. What is data collector or data scraper? Basically, it's a product that you are uh, instructing go to this website. I want to see to get this and these parameters, and basically make it from unstructured data to structured data in a JSON file that then it can go directly to my automation and uh, other products that can analyze it in CSV, in Excel, whatever. Now, this, this, this product, the scraper, it needs to learn the structure of the website because according to this structure, it can go and collect the, it, 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 can, it can get in and, and start to collect the data. Now imagine yourself that there are millions of websites and millions of structures. And till today, the competition is basically using professional services, meaning human hours that are educating the product. This is the structure of this website. And now you can start and collect automatically. Second, even after you educate, your product, the website is revising itself, changing the structure of the website, changing the structure of the landing page. Then you need to hold and to re-educate your product. We are developing a product with AI algorithms inside that will learn by himself the structure, will learn by himself even when a page or a website is changing its structure, and then we don't we need almost zero human hours, almost zero professional service. One of our uh, 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 goals is to be auto, fully automated in everything, in sales and marketing, and of course in our products. And by this, we can provide a very fast response to our customers. We can be agile as a generic, as a generic scraper for every website, and we can be also very fast response when a website is changing its structure because our AI <clears throat> algorithm will learn it by himself and very fast will recover and will, will keep, uh, uh, will not stop the business, will, will not have any issues with business continuity of our customers. I'm sure that a company like yours, at the moment you are in a golden moment that anything that touches data and AI can grow very scale and very strong.